YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Beer the Master Hobbits. I can do it by Jakob the Lone Malt. Looking at a rare beer today. This one was kindly sent out by Ryan, aka Stumpy Joe Jr., in a beer trade a long time ago. Yeah. We've basically been holding on to this one because it's from the shoots, and it's none other than the shoots 2012 release of The Dissident. Now we've been holding on to this because the shoes beers have the best after dates, and this was best after the 20th of August 2013, and we have September now. So. And it's actually the 20th today. Right. So it's actually so it's a month more than the best after date. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this should be good. Um, this this is the I uh, we have one more beer left from Ryan. That's the barrel aged Speedway Stout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the dissident says it's uh, basically, or says it is basically, twenty percent, as it says on the front, malt beverage aged in French oak wine barrels and eighty percent malt beverage brewed with cherries, and they make it with a wild yeast. On the side here it says, introducing our wildest brew yet, the dissident, a distinctive Belgian style brown ale fermented with wild yeast. We have isolated this brew so as not to influence the others. Otherwise, we just might have anarchy on our hands. Here's a solitary confinement and shared exploration. This is the highest ABD release of this yet. It's on 11.4%, so it's a huge ass sour ale. But let's get this one cracked open. So we got the Deschutes the Dissident poured. Really nice, hazy, kind of amber, dark amber color. Yeah, ruby red, maybe. Yeah, nice off-white head on it. Looks like a sour. Yeah. So, let's take the aroma on it. Hmm. Mm, I'm getting a lot of cherry, actually. A lot of cherry. And kind of like a... Yeah, Oak note, too, mm. as well. Caramel. Definitely vinous, too. Oaky vinous. Mm. Doesn't smell super sour. No. But it, it smells more like wild and funky. Just like me. Wow, why are people so loud outside? <laughs> I really moved into the ghetto. <laughs> but, yeah, wild and funky like me. Mm. Right. Um, it has some, like, forest fruits as well. Strawberries, kind of, as well. Yeah, Raspberries. Yeah, mm -hmm. not a strawberry. Um, definitely, like, Oud Brin. Oh, yeah, yeah. like, um, I think they call it that online as well. It's basically a... It doesn't say that somewhere. I can't remember. Whatever. Uh, but it's got those kind of Rotenbach like the yeah. aromas and flavors. Uh, like the Flanders Red. Yeah, yeah. Flanders Red, Old Brun. It's got those kind of caramelly uh, notes, sour notes, uh, dark, kind of vineyards, dark fruits. Yeah. Woo! You can probably hear it on the camera. This is wild. Um, Nice cherry notes in there as well, as we said. Mm. It has that kind of balsamic vinegar that's yeah. very characteristic for the, those kind of beers. Um, a lot of caramel toffee, but still has a nice good good component. Nice, sweet malt backbone. Yeah. Yeah, it smells really nice. Do you want to give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that's really nice. It's more of a... It, well, it is like an old one, but yeah. it's not a super sour one. No, no, not at all. It's really nice. I'm getting a lot of like vineyards, almost vanilla <laughs> characters as well. Yeah. Like it, it goes like when you take your first sip, you're getting that kind of slight, sharp balsamic vinegar flavor, which fades. Yeah. And then you're left with this vanilla, oaky, woody, vineyard kind of character, almost like almost like a port kind of wine slash yeah red wine thing. Mouthfeel, I would say medium. Hmm. Almost lightly chewy. Yeah, for the style. And 11.4? No, wow. That <laughs> oh, is no. very well hidden. I really like that oaky dryness it has. It has that oaky, yeah. dry, cork like dryness that kind of just floods in. Yeah, a lot of nice vineyards, kind of caramel toffee, red apple skin, red apple, the grapes, uh, almost like a slight spicy tone. Yeah. Funk wise, there is a little bit of a generic funk, I'd say. Yeah. Like bread funk or something like that. But it's not as insane. And I usually don't find that the Old Brun and Flemish sours are super funky compared to Lambic's. Mm. Uh, it's more of those like nice, caramelly, oaky, uh, vinous, balsamic no, flavors. Yeah. A lot of bals like balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar. It's, yeah. it's really nice. I mean, it's a lot like something like a Rodenbach. Uh, 
kind of beer. Yeah, I don't know if I think it's the best like American funky sour beer I've had, but uh, it's still really damn good. So rating wise for me, I'm gonna go 94. I think it's really tasty. I really love the aftertaste on it. Uh, yeah, this usually does some good beers. Yeah, so good I'm, stuff. I'm gonna go straight up 90. I was thinking of it uh, for a while. It's not. It's a really nice beer, don't get me wrong at all, and it still amazes me as well that it's 11.4. It's just no trace of it now whatsoever. No. Not, no heat, no... Nothing. No. Nothing. It's just well hidden, well yeah, played. This will <laughs> creep up on you. And I like the label as well. It's yeah, like, it's really cool with the, <laughs> the crows or what it is. I think it's crows as well. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, um... Definitely check out the Deschutes the Dissident if it's something you can find when it's released again. I'd say it's definitely worth training for as well. So guys, definitely let us know what you think of it. Thanks a bunch to Ryan, aka Stumpy Joe Jr. for sending this one out. You will do. Uh, yeah, as always, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. Delicious, rare American beer. <laughs> we're going to see you guys in another beer video.